Thanks to the PSI for the invitation to participate in the second international conference. Years in 2020. This deserves oh, a hello. celebration. Hello. Uh, in 2017, uh, in 2017, the uh, Brazil approved the law named Renato Bio that uh, recognizes the ethanol characteristics to reduce CO2 emissions and define a bonus for that, named CBIO, uh, decarbonization credit due to biofuel. And this is a financial asset, a new income to the sugar cane mill. So after that, uh, emission reduction is uh, a new drive to design and to develop technology in the hurricane field. That's the subject of my presentation. Uh, What you have heard has a name. It is ASD, Empty Sleeping Device. In this shadow environment, in a presentation, we feel sleeping. Now you can continue to the shadow environment. I'll make my best that you don't sleep because anytime you will hear an ASD, Empty Sleeping Device. And the message is don't sleep, okay? This is our very well known sugar cane. Sugar cane through photosynthesis transforms the inputs into carbohydrates, water, and oxygen. And this grew into a farming. And sugar cane is a source of bioenergy and bioproducts. But today, a new trend appeared, a new vision from sugar cane appeared with a third important influence. The greenhouse gases emission mitigation can be done by sugar cane. So this a new vision of the sugar cane, how to mitigate greenhouse gases emission and uh, how to collaborate to reduce global warming. Let's see each of our ones. For instance, let's see uh, sugarcane as energy, sugarcane as raw material to buy products, and sugarcane to mitigate greenhouse gases emissions. Typically, sugarcane is not measured in energy uh, 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 role. But if you do that, perhaps you are surprised, like in this slide. Yellow is the energy in the oil production in Brazil. Green is the energy in sugar cane production in Brazil. As you see, uh, sugar cane energy is become closer to the oil energy. And in 2013, a surprise will come. For the first time, the energy in sugarcane turned down the energy of oil. And in 2013, because of Renova Bio, a new surprise will come, even bigger. Wow! 
<laughs> You'll never imagine. You'll never imagine things like that. So sugar cane is energy. And not only in Brazil. If you compare the energy in sugar cane, Brazilian sugar cane, with the oil energy used in other countries, it will be higher than United Kingdom and Spain, for instance. And including, wow, okay. And including in India, the oil production has less energy than the sugarcane production energy. And globally, we have 7% of the oil energy consumed in the world. Uh, in uh, sugarcane has 7% of the oil energy, 7%. Worldwide speaking. As bioproducts, this is very well known. A lot of products can be done with sugarcane. Let's see some examples. For instance, in this ethanol mill, Son Jean ethanol mill, biomethane was used to fuel the whole sugarcane fleet. 29 trucks, 70, 17 light vehicles, one tractor and buses using the biomethane from the stillage. Compressed the biomethane at 220 bar. This is a photo of the sugarcane truck and the bus of the city's urban fleet being fed, being fueled by biomethane. And the first Brazilian biomethane and gas tractor. Other example. Uh, to produce biodiesel integrated to a sugarcane mill. Uh, the Dini supplier this plant integrated to Bahalbo mill. Here is the sugarcane farm. When you refurbish the sugarcane area, you use the concept of a double crop. That means you put soil, soya, and you cultivate soil. Soya oil plus bioenergy plus ethanol that come from the mill produces biodiesel that is used at the farm and produces biodiesel that is sold to the market. So this is a very interesting example of integration of pro new, uh, different product producer in sugar cane. To mitigate, here you have the Brazilian official agency in biofuels. Here you have certifying companies. Here you have the sugarcane mill. The Brazilian uh, official uh, agency uh, grants an accreditation to the certifier. The certifier making an audit and certifies the beta no the, the sugarcane mill. And he gave a, a grade according to the environmental efficiency of the sugarcane mill. When the sugarcane mill sells ethanol, he grants the right to issue CBIO, and CBIO is sold in the stock exchange market. And doing that, in the stock exchange market, there are buyers, mainly the few distributors that has individual targets. And then the uh, emission reduction uh, made by the ethanol turns into money. And Sebaio is a new sugarcane coal product. How can a sugarcane mill contribute to reduce greenhouse gas emissions? To do that, you need to analyze the ethanol in a, a complete life cycle evaluation. Here you have the life cycle. At the farm, you have emissions. At the, uh, at the field, you capture CO2. 
in the process you have emissions. To uh, supply electricity to the grid, you avoid emissions. In the transportation and using vehicles, you have emissions. But making the final balance per liter of ethanol, the emission is 0.26 kilo of CO2 per liter of ethanol. But when you use ethanol, you avoid the utilization of gasoline that has this amount of emission. So, making the balance, the reduction by using ethanol replacing gasoline is 2 kilo of CO2 per liter of ethanol equivalent. That means 89% of greenhouse gases mitigation. And how can a sugarcane mill maximize this mitigation? How to design? How to maximize the bios? Uh, these are one solution that we presented in 2008 and 2008 and 2010 internationally. Using the concept of sustainable development based on economic, environmental and social. And in all of that, manufacturing concept utilization 4.0. That means design a sugarcane mill attending a those characteristics. Let's concentrate on environmental and on emissions. Here is a typical sugarcane mill producing ethanol, electricity and sugar, agricultural area. Industrial technologies that can contribute to Cebios production, that means to mitigate emissions. For instance, more bioethanol per ton of cane, that means it will replace more gasoline, so it will reduce emissions. <coughs> To supply more electricity, it will reduce emissions, it will avoid emissions. Integrating a biodiesel plant. In this case, you have the biodiesel supplied to the market and you change the soya grain with an edible oil plant to an oil equivalent to oil and milk. So this is an ethylic biodiesel, not ethylic as usual is, so the emissions are reduced even greater. Bio, uh, biodiesel plant uses bioenergy instead of natural gas, as typically is used. Agricultural technologies to reduce emissions. Double use of the land, you produce uh, uh, sugarcane and then in the uh, refurbishment, you produce soya. You use biodiesel to replace diesel, avoiding emissions. You eliminate sugarcane burning using the straw as a feedstock to produce electricity. You utilize residues, replacing chemical fertilizer and biomethane from the stillage, replacing fossil fuel at the market. So all those technologies are able to reduce emissions. Using the, all those concepts, we developed the, the Dini Sustainable Mill. Six bioproducts, bio-sugar, bioethanol, bioelectricity, biodiesel or bioproducts, biowater and biofoam. This, we believe, will be in the future. Already available. This uh, was designed with two concepts. Optimization concept, that means maximize sugar, ethanol, electricity, integrate bioproducts, biodiesel, example, biomethane, maximum greenhouse gases mitigation. And we use the zero concept zero residues, zero liquid effluents, zero odors, zero intake water, surplus biowater to minimal emissions. 
doing that, as you remember, in a traditional meal, and ethanol, replacing gasoline, <coughs> avoids two kilo of CO2 emissions per, kilo, per liter of ethanol. In this kind of solution, instead of two, you avoid 2.6. And using 50% of the straw to produce electricity, you can uh, avoid three kilos of CO2 per liter of ethanol. And the potential in this technology is to uh, avoid five kilos. That means a huge amount. So, uh, analyzing each one, how to maximize the bioethanol production with this kind of technologies available in the market, for instance, in our company, the team. And regarding pork ethanol that can produce it integrated to the sugarcane milk, we are pleased to announce a cooperation agreement with Prach in business and technology. And some of those technologies were patented by our company or by our partners. To maximize bioelectricity, all those technologies are adequate to maximize first surplus baguettes and second Utilize the, max, the, the maximum baguettes and other energy inputs in the sugarcane mill to maximize bioelectricity production. Those are patent solutions. And one very important is uh, the, remember that I have inform, informed biosugar, bioethanol, bioelectricity. Biodiesel we have seen as a solution. And biowater. What is biowater? It's water that came from the sugar cane that you recycle and you have a surplus of water uh, uh, minimizing the losses in the process. For instance, uh, in evaporation, instead of this amount, you can reduce it, avoid the loss, condensate and reutilize. Instead of cane wash, you can use a dry, a dry process. You can concentrate the stillage until the amount that you don't need any intake water, only the water containing sugar cane. So this is a zero intake water mill. And continuing, you can concentrate the distillage and recover water from the distillage. Doing that with the concentrated distillage, the cake, the ash and soot of the boilers and complementary nutrients you can produce the biofoam, that means organic biofertilizer. Doing that, instead of using water from intake, you can For instance, 
at the beginning in with using six million seventy eight inches each we could crush five thousand five hundred today fifteen thousand tons of candy per day using basically the same equipment <coughs> total use six six liter of ethanol to eighty seven liter of ethanol and other references so here we believe is the state of the art of performance of sugarcane mills in the world and how to reach this state of the art very simple just ask the dini i never lose the opportunity to make a commercial <coughs> this solution this solution had a lot of uh, recognitions and uh, 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 awards so <laughs> Some recognitions, for instance, in the press. The Dini's Best on Sustainable Mill. Being referenced for important uh, speeches, like this one that was Minister of Science and Technology, in the internet. And the Dini uh, was highlighted in the opening of the Biofuel International Conference in Brazil before 2,500 participants as an innovative company that developed the self-sufficient uh, water, self-sufficient and a water exporter mill. We received a lot of prizes and almost concluding, what is the intention of RenovaBio? At COP21 and COP22, Brazil made a commitment to reduce by 42% the 2013 greenhouse gases emission that generates climate change. To this end, a national biofuel policy, Renova Bio, was approved as a law that defines the greenhouse gases emission reduction, reduction targets and introduce the sugarcane co-product, CBIO, the carbonization credit generated by biofuels, a financial reward to be traded at the stock exchange market. To meet the Renova Bio targets, annual production at 2030 crop needs to grow about 20 billion liters ahead of current production and sugar cane around uh, 250 million tons. Expansion equivalent to 100 new ethanol mills of 12,000 tons of cane per day. That means a huge uh, expansion that will be promoted by uh, emissions reduction program. And Renova Bio was conceived in an initial configuration to be further enlarged and enhanced in two other aspects of the sustainability tripod, aiming an expansion to total sustainability, that means a future Renova Bio Plus requirements that sus the, the Dini Sustainable View already complies today. And why? Remember that Sustainable Mill was designed to attend those characteristics and Renova Bio is concentrated only on environmental and emissions and Sustainable Mill attends all other characteristics. So in this context, considering all characteristics the sustainable mill qualifies to be the right solution for Renova Bio. A sustainable mill is a current Renova Bio mill and is already updated to a future Renova Bio plus mill. 
This is sustainable milk. This is the Nova Bio. Two faces of the same coin. When you operate this kind of a mill, you produce the bio. The bio is money. Wow. Wow, you have a revenue. <laughs> and to finalize, uh, we believe that sustainability will, will be will have a major contribution to reduce the uh, global warming. That's why the last slide is a playful scenario that we believe will be reached when sustainable meal will be disseminated around the world. This is traditional milk, avoids two kilo CO2 per liter of ethanol replacing gasoline.